Right gang, here we go. Solving this bottle puzzle. I guess the idea would be to unscrew this uh, this nut holding this bolt and then we can retract everything. Now I don't know if this puzzle necessarily requires me to put everything back together. However, that's something I'm going to attempt to do and hopefully I'll be able to get there. So one thing I noticed is that the ball that you see here is actually, it's hard to see with the refraction of the glass, but that ball is not completely round. And I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that ball not being round. Maybe this lock pick needs to link in there somehow. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, so I figured. Okay, I can probably use that ball as a wedge to sort of, as you can see, I can kind of wedge it against there and get that to turn. Um, so I'd have to turn it this way. The clinking sound is driving me nuts, by the way. Maybe the other side. Unless this is like a reverse rivet that they purposely put in there, which I wouldn't be surprised. If you check out the lock puzzle that I did, uh, they are pretty clever about that. I still have no idea what this, uh, oh, there it goes. Okay, I think we started turning it. Maybe I can wedge that ball in there somehow. Okay, it's turning. Am I tightening this at this point? I think I'm tightening it. Maybe use that um, metal lock pick thingy to just stop that ball from rolling around in there. That would be great. I'm gonna take a closer look at this rivet, make sure I'm doing it on the right side. Okay, so it would have to be that way. Take some patience and dexterity. No, don't turn back in. Ah, my hand's getting a cramp at this point. No, so the problem is I keep going over it, it keeps rolling over it, and then it screws right back, so I gotta watch out with that. <sighs> okay. I have a dreadful feeling that once I undo this, that putting it back together is going to be a nightmare. Getting carpal tunnel. It's turning slowly but surely. Like the bolt has clearly come out a little bit since the beginning. I wonder if that lock pick has anything to do. You could probably make my life a thousand times easier at this point, but I feel like this is working, so I'm just gonna stick to this and grind it out. Probably not the best way to go about it, but. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. Look at this. I was forcing so hard before. But if I just, look at that, it's turning now. You know, you're playing with gravity, you're playing with dexterity, and you're also playing with patience. <laughs> it's very important. Like this, there we go. For some reason this is a, this might actually be the good method. Look at this, look how easy that turns around. Bam, <laughs> do you see that? That gentle pressure. I think we found the sweet spot. I think this is a sweet spot right here. Kind of like a little video game. All I'm missing is like laser sounds. Pew, 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 bloop, bloop. So I'm using that lock pick to sort of entrap this ball at a certain height, gently. Ah. Okay, come on. Woo! Ta-da! The ball was actually completely spherical and round, which doesn't look like it. I guess the refraction of the glass messed that up a bit. Now, for the part that I'm dreading the most, putting all this back the way I found it. Why are there two, so weird? This hole here is like on an angle. I have no idea why that is, by the way. You have a hole on an angle. It starts here and it goes through up here. Is that something to do with, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Plop everything back in, I suppose. Uh, this is this is gonna be very difficult to get that in. I think that's the hardest part. Uh, it's gonna go in this way. Oh no, obviously that has to go in too. Oh my god, what have I got myself into? There's no way, there's no way. That bolt can't even straight, like it took me everything just to shake it out of there. 
with no friction or anything like how oh using the ball as a lever maybe get in there oh come on see though like how is that okay we're almost there no okay everybody on one side i bet if i had like a really powerful magnet i could probably just like pull that up but they haven't given me a magnet so i'm not going to use that but that definitely would be a solution to this how though can you imagine the time staking like labor that was put into this to make these <laughs> maybe i can leverage something under that bolt so if i turn that bolt around Look at this in a more practical manner. I'm thinking I can use that little ball or bolt, the nut, to leverage this into that hole, creating like a little lever that I can push it into. So the idea is to get that ball, I think over here, that would probably be the best. If you can't tell by my frustration in my voice already, I'm getting annoyed. Patience is key, folks, patience is key. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, go underneath that bolt. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. Ooh, oh, maybe that's what that groove is for. <gasps> that's what the groove is for. Would you look at that? Okay, so now I'm here. I'm thinking the next groove. Don't wanna lose where I'm at. Okay, let's, let's go back to the first groove. That was, that was good. Without moving the bottle, just the stick. I think we're getting it. Ooh, that's gotta be it. Nope, slip it out. Get back in there. No. Oh. Okay. It's definitely in like to just fall in there. It's taken me everything just to get to this point. Okay, small victory, halfway there. Now it's just to, uh, all right, we've gotta get, we've gotta lodge that, okay. One thing I can't do is lose, lose that bolt. That bolt needs to be in there. This should be actually the easier part. So if I'm here, I wanna make sure the rivet's in there and it's not going in crooked. something you need to force and that's something I figured out right now. Such an intriguing puzzle though. All right, as you guys can see, it's slowly being riveted back into position with gentle strokes like so. created this small little dip for it just to keep rolling back. And every time it rolls back, I just, I hit it again with the bolt like this. Let's tighten this all the way. And that's good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the impossible bottle puzzle solved. And that is a total of 28 minutes from start to finish without any instructions. Go ahead and try it at home if you like. I'll left the link below and you can pick one of these up yourself. All right guys, a successful venture. I didn't think I'd be able to do it uh, this quickly. Uh, it honestly looked a lot more complicated than it was. You know, I, I think getting the bolt back in and, and everything is way more complicated than getting it out. But once you understand the principle, I think it's pretty, pretty easy. That being said, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy this channel and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.